Hello everyone, welcome to CalcuDog. In this classroom, we're going to be studying dogs and the mathematics powers they beholden. In this classroom, the grade breakdown is as follows. So examinations are worth 10% of your grade. The homework is also worth 10% of your grade. And playing with my dog, so playing with my dog, so if you play with my dog, that is worth 80% of your grade. So if you play with my dog and you don't take any exams or do any homework, uh, you will pass this class with a B. So we're going to solve this equation for the value of x. So we'll start by subtracting 2 from both sides. So the 2's cancel, so we have 1 half x. These cancel so you get 0, so we put the equal sign here. And 4 minus 2 is equal to... Good boy, it's equal to 2. And then now we can multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is... Very good, good boy, you're going to get a treat. So you just multiply by 2, and so we end up with x equal to... And 2 times 2 is equal to... Good boy, four. So the best way to integrate the absolute value of sine x is to simply erase the absolute values. And you can do that because you don't really need them there. So we have a quadratic equation and we're trying to solve for the value of x. So the first thing to do is to identify uh, a, b, and c. So a uh, is equal to the number 2, uh, b is equal to the number 4, and c is equal to the number 7. Any questions so far on that step? Right, because a is equal to the number 2, and b is equal to the number 4, and c is equal to the number 7. So does that make sense? Well, the thing is that a is equal to the number 2, and b is equal to the number 4, and c is equal to the number 7. Right, that's because uh, a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 7.